Hundreds of students from several high schools held a protest at City Hall demanding change. They want more mental health aid, classes to help students work through their emotions, more security, and outreach programs to help students succeed in school and beyond. Dr. Robin Fleming with UW Bothell School of Nursing and Health Studies was a school nurse for several Seattle schools for more than 13 years. She says the state of school safety is much different than a decade ago. I think it's worse. You know, part of the issue is we don't have enough providers. Nurses, for example, aren't necessarily working to the top of their license. Um, we need to sort of look at how we offer health services in schools, and we certainly don't have enough mental health counselors. SPS Superintendent Brent Jones introduced a safety initiative during last week's school board meeting, comprised of three elements, a district-wide safety and security audit, the creation of a community action team, and lastly, hopes of launching a child well-being council. Liza Rankin, the school board director of District 1, who represents Ingram High, believes those elements are steps in the right direction. What the school district can do and also what the community as a whole can do and, and be involved and how much um, student health and safety um, and, and gun violence, you know, these are things that impact our students, but not only at school. These are a lot of uh, broader issues that impact students inside and outside of school. Officials with SPS say they do have additional counselors, social workers, and security at Ingram High School, which will be in place for at least through the end of the week. In Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.